Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw the elastic cycle from Incredibles 2. So let's get started with a quick sketch and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this and this one's a little bit tricky but we'll take it step by step. So the first thing we're going to draw is the seat portion of the motorcycle first. So we can draw one line and then here is the actual seat. So we're just going to curve down and just kind of scoop it back up. Okay, so once you have that, we can, for the bottom here, we just draw one line across. And then as we get around here, we just kind of curve it all the way up. So we're just drawing the seat cushion here. And then we'll close that off. Okay, and then from here, we can draw in the back. So we're gonna, on the back here, we're just gonna extend this. And then here, we can just kind of extend it straight across. And then to end it, we just kind of curve it up, and just close it off. All right, and let's see, let's add in some detail here on the C cushion, we just add in some lines. Just go all the way across. And then as you get to here, just kind of rotate it a little bit, just turn it a little bit. Okay, and then from here, let's draw in just a little bit of detail here. So we're going to extend this line here. And then we're going to curve it up. Go back to the seat. Okay, so now let's draw the front. So this one's a little bit trickier. So we're going to continue this curve. Just kind of go up. And then we're going to slant down. And then we're going to curve it back here. So we're just going to come down. And then just kind of stop around there. And then this part's a little bit easier now. So we're just drawing the light. So we're just going to draw one big curve like that. And then we can add in a line just to divide it back up. And then here's the little bit of detail here. We're going to come up, come down. And then here's the throttle or the brakes or the handlebar. So we just draw the circle, add a little bit of detail. And then there's gonna be one little curve here. And I can shade that in, it's supposed to be all black. Okay, so from here, it uh, gets a little bit trickier because now we gotta draw in the, the tires, the wheel. So just come down, we gotta draw in the one big uh, wheel first. So just right around here, if you imagine just the midpoint here, just come down and just draw one big circle. And I know mine is gonna be wobbly. So if you can, you can use whatever drawing aids you need or you just leave it wobbly like mine, <laughs> okay? All right, so just right around here, just draw one big circle and then we're gonna come back here, we're gonna draw another one. So this one is gonna start right here and we can go all the way out. So it's almost the same size. I think the rear wheel is a little bit bigger, but you can draw it the same size. Okay, same size as that one. All right, so once you have this two big wheel, let's add in some detail. So we're gonna draw in, this one's a little bit easier now. Just gonna draw in another one. So on this side, we can draw in the same thing. So just follow along the other curve. Okay, and then we got to draw one more in here. So just try to envision near the center of the circles here. Just draw another one. And then same thing here. Yep, nice and wobbly. Okay, and then from here, um, there's a little bit of logo here. We can draw in this, uh, it's gonna be a G, so we can draw in just an oval. Oval shape. So from here, here's the center. So we're gonna draw kind of like a half circle. And then we just kind of point it all the way up here. So you can start up here if you want. And just go all the way down. All 
Now, if you're drawing this with pencil, just go ahead and erase up those lines. So I am doing. So if you're drawing it with pencil, just go ahead and erase up those three lines. So since I'm doing it with Sharpie, I can't. So, so I'm just kind of adding some detail here. We're just going to add in one section. Okay. And then now let's see to, for the fender and the wheel. Just draw another line. And this time I'm just going to go behind it. Okay. And then we're just going to go out to the wheel. So that's going to be the fender. Okay. So let's draw the other one in the back. So this one's a little bit trickier. So right around here in the, in the middle, I'm gonna draw kind of another half circle, but slightly bigger. And now we're gonna, from here, we're gonna go all the way down to this point here. So from here, I'm just gonna imagine a straight line. Let's go all the way down. Just connect to that. Okay, so once you've done that, now from here, from this point here, we're just gonna go back out, past the wheel, Right around there, you can stop. And then for this part, we're just gonna curve it all the way up back to this. Okay, so now we got pretty much uh, the whole frame in. So for the rear fender, there's gonna be another one here. So we're gonna draw another line. This one's easy, we're just following this. And as we get here, just kind of curve it down. Okay, so this part's the whole fender. Okay, so from here, let's draw in, let's see, there's gonna be a, a pedal here. And again, if you're drawing with pencil, you're gonna erase out these three lines. Okay, so I'm gonna draw in the pedal now. It's an oval shape. And then there's another shape in here, so I'll just draw another oval. So yeah, just erase a lot of lines. So it's kind of messy, right, for me, because I'm drawing with Sharpie. So now let's draw in the logo here. So this one's a little bit easier. We just gotta draw, let's go ahead and draw another oval inside. And then we're gonna draw one more. You can go all the way around. And then we're gonna draw a line up, two lines across. Two line here. And then for this one, just draw a line like that. So then you got to erase out these two lines right here. This one, this one, and that one. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky, but this way is a little bit easier to draw. All right, so then lastly for the uh, spokes on the wheel, so this one's easy, we just kind of radiate a bunch of lines. So we just kind of draw in, just try to space it out if you can, if not, it's okay. Just as long as it's coming from the center. Okay, and then on the back as well. I think my rear wheel, wheel is kind of wobbly. And that is it for this elastic cycle. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.